Hello, my name is Xi Jinji. I want to show you briefly the functionality of a tool that we recently developed. It's called Adapt. It's for um, differentiated expression path analysis, so RNA sequencing data and other transcript transcriptomic data. Um, the the main thing that we want to do, and the the main design philosophy is, is to keep it really simple. So have you give you more results per click, and it's also integrating a lot of our packages, biomatics packages with a massive annotation database uh, that makes the user's life really easy. And uh, the, for example, the new version, we included um, pathway analysis, pathway data, and also other kind of data for 315 different organisms that annotated in Ensemble uh, database and including a lot of plants and animals. And also, we have uh, over 2,000 different genomes uh, that is annotated in the StringDB uh, is also covered. So data in this organism in StringDB is limited, but, um, but we have support for at least um, as, at the basic level for geontology, uh, PFAM domains, or, 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 or things like that. So, this is the page that you load your data. You can type in or choose your your organism from here, and 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 also choose what type of data you 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 uh, you're, you're loading. In the pre-process um, tab, shows you the total recounts and um, the distribution of the transformed data, and also scatter plot between uh, the the first two uh, samples. You can also change the variables that you use for um, pre-processing. And, and also, you can apply the expression of one or more genes. Um, okay, in here, you can search for the gene expression data uh, by enter a keyword. Um, okay. So in the heat map uh, tab, a hierarchical clustering analysis is done. Um, of the top 1,000 genes with the most variation. So here shows the general pattern of expression and, and give you an idea of what's going on in the, in the data before you identify the differential expressed genes. So there's interactive version, um, the interactive version where you can, you can zoom in and, and zoom out of you know, uh, some, some genes. And also there's a correlation matrix and um, there's a, the tree that you can download. Uh, all the figures you see, you can download a higher resolution uh, version, or you can customize this number, this, this plus. The key means clustering divided the top 2,000 genes with the most variation to a few clusters. Uh, so this plot helps you decide how many clusters there is appropriate. So for example, here there are four clusters. And for each one of the clusters, a gene expression, a enrichment analysis is done automatically. And as you could see, this is the P53 knockout and data with ionizing uh, radiation. You could see cluster C genes are enriched in P53 uh, signaling pathway genes in, in, in addition to uh, CAG pathway. Obviously, for human mouse and neurobiopsies, we have a comprehensive a uh, list of pathways and geontology uh, lists. For example, there are mRNA target genes or transcription factor target genes, and um, that you could use to 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 generate different type of hypotheses. For example, if you change to t, uh, transfax, we can detect that the enrichment of transcription of TP53 target genes in cluster C uh, here. Um, the uh, the principal component analysis give you a uh, give you a mapping of the samples from high dimensional space into a low dimensional space. Obviously, you can uh, you can choose um, customize this this plot and to see um, that this is the first principal components and the second principal components and. Um, the differential gene expression one, the first tab, enables you to um, enter your 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 model and customize your model. Um, the, for this e experiment, this is a typical two by two, so it's a mutant 
and with or without treatment. Wild type versus mutant without treatment. So we 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 set these things as a factor, and also we wanted the interaction term so that the extra effect of the uh, the radiation on the sample that has the p53 functional um, protein. So these are the differential uh, differentially expressed genes uh, for each one of the comparison upper uh, up, up regulated genes, down regulated genes, and these are the numbers. And also you can use a Venn diagram to uh, compare uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, gene sets to give you a better idea of the whole uh, gene set. For DEG2 tab, enables you to examine the each individual comparisons. For example, for wild type um, cells, what the effect of radiation um, with or without radiation. For example, here are the upregulated genes are upregulated by radiation. These are the downregulated by radiation, and uh, we uh, will see, we can see you know the the volcano plot, and also for example the scatter plot, and you can get a, a interactive version of these these plots. Okay, another thing you can do is, is identify the overrepresented transcription factor bonding motifs in the group of downregulated genes and upregulated genes, and help you generate some new um, hypotheses regarding gene expression, uh, gene regulation. And um, <coughs> the um, again, we can also switch different uh, different gene ontology, uh, different pathway categories. Here we have the uh, the gene ontology. For example, here uh, we have immune response is um, downregulated, and the ribosome biogenesis is upregulated, and the, we also have a tree. A structure summarizes the relationship of these terms. For example, multiple terms of ribosome uh, biogenesis is close together because a lot of genes is shared um, in, in in this, which also generate a network that summarizing uh, these terms, the relationship of these terms. Okay, so the pathway analysis here uh, enables you to run uh, gene set enrichment analysis and other. Uh, programs for pathway analysis, not on the selected genes, but on the whole data set. Um, here we're using just full change. Um, for example, this is a down-regulated pathways and up-regulated pathways. And also, a heat map is shown for this particular, for genes include um, in this per one particular pathway, obviously you can choose, you can change, um, okay, um, you can, also change this, for example, to a CAG pathway, um, we will be able to identify the differentially expressed pathways here. Um, and also the expression profile of these genes are overlaid on top of the pathway diagram that we download from CAG. Um, the genome is a visualization of the full change on the different chromosomes. This can help you identify Regions with um, regions with genes that are upregulated, um, upregulated. For example, this is chromosome six. You can see all the genes that are. Um, you can also run a R package called Preda, which will run regression analysis, help you identify regions with genes that are um, statistically enriched with upregulated genes or downregulated genes. We also have. Multiple um, algorithms for bioclustering you can you can use to divide these genes into different bioclusters. Uh, for example, in this case, we can detect that the first uh, bioclaster is enriched in apoptosis region. Another thing that we implemented is a co-expression networks uh, using a WGC and a package um, to construct co-expression networks from and also identify enriched pathways among these genes. And obviously, you can change the layout. Uh, and finally, um, you can reach reach out to us through emails or Twitter. Um, you can download the customized R code with all the options that you selected and rerun 
some part of the most part of the analysis we're still working on this obviously uh, you can download all the database that you used uh, for your analysis and also we have uh, older versions of this app that is um, out there um, and this tells you all the R packages that uh, that is in there um, after uploading up um, this app um, in early 2017 we have seen uh, about 7,800 7, uh, users coming from all over the country to 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 use our result uh, to use it. And then right now we have um, 89 countries or um, across the world we have users um, from you know all across the world come to use it. And right now, uh, after our publication of the paper, um, an early in, in late 2019, so there's we have seen increasing number of, of users. Uh, right now, we have anywhere between 50 to 100 users per weekday. And thank you for um, using it, and, and make sure you reach out to us with uh, comments. We have seen a lot of users writing to us, requesting things, or pointing out things that we are not. Uh, some even some box uh,